Peace, love, and blessings, fam, on this fine Friday, which just happens to be Valentine's Day. I'm going to give y'all a quick little uh, taste right now, and then I'm going to move to a quieter location. But this is what I'm talking about. A billboard that says, give love a chance, but it's a con. Straight sensual carnality does not always equal love. And that is a mistake that so many of us make. Love is so much deeper than that. Love has a purity to it. It is unconditional. And when you love unconditional, it opens up so many doors in your life. I'm going to tap back in with y'all. Peace, love, and blessings, fam. We back in. Now, as I told you, sensual carnality may or may not be connected to sex. Just because a person has sex with another individual does not necessarily mean they love them. Love is something that you have to embody. It is something that you have to be. This heart here is filled with tools. There's a C-clamp, hammers, there's axes, there's bricks, because true love takes time to build, not only for others, but more so for yourself. If you do not truly and intently love yourself, how can you possibly love anyone else? How can you possibly love anyone to the degree that they truly deserve? Because once you embody love, you love everyone. Just as my shirt, black love is beautiful, but it's not just black love singly for another black individual, it's for the whole. It's for all melanated individuals. Me personally, I love everyone. Why? Because we all come from the same source. But it's nothing wrong with me repping and standing strong in who I am. I love you all. And I want you to start understanding love because so many times we fall victim, literally victim to socially constructed definitions that may or may not apply to you, that may or may not fit your architecture or paradigm of thinking. And then you become to a state to where you're in constant conflict with yourself. You can't even love or be yourself because society says you should be this way. Society says you should wear your hair like this. Society says you should do that. Screw society, love you. We have to step outside of the box. We've been trained and programmed so long to think into what is wanted to control us. But as soon as we stand up from the table or from under the table, the game is over. Love yourself enough to stand up for yourself and loving and being yourself. If you've just gotten out of a relationship or you just jumped in one today for his Valentine's Day, reevaluate yourself. Why am I telling you this? Because the trauma that you build within yourself, you have to be able to heal that. And the first way to begin healing that is to be completely honest with yourself. Be honest with yourself about what your definition of love is. Be honest with yourself about how you came to that definition. Because most of the definitions that we come to come from social constructs. Then evaluate what you actually bring to the table. Stop lying to yourself. If all you bring in is a blunt and some sheets, be real with yourself. Many people may want long-term relationships. And if your mind is not set on long-term and you're trying to step into that realm, you're going to create confusion for yourself. And it's actually disrespectful for yourself and the next individual. And finally, what are your world views? What are your life views? Because again, the socially constructed ideas that many of us hold on to are not your ideas. It's just what you've been programmed into. So you conflict within yourself by making certain decisions that you are happy with at the moment, but because of the, so the socially constructed definition that's been planted in the subconscious of your mind, now you feel bad. I remember an individual telling me, oh yeah, um, my homegirl is a slut, she do this and that and this and yada, yada, yada. But it's okay for you, right bro? Oh well, that's different, that's different. No, it's no different. If it's good for the goose, it gotta be good for the gander. Again, these are my perspectives. If you disagree with it, hey, so be it. This is a message that comes from my heart, from love. Love is beautiful. Love is unconditional. Love is not controlling. Love is compassionate. Love is caring. Love is truly understanding. Because once you understand yourself, then you can see yourself in others. So if you spot it, you got it. If it's something that annoys you about an individual, look deep within yourself to see where that's rooted in. We all have to learn to operate from a state of love, rooted love.
from a state of not judging, from a state of not controlling an individual, from a state of not wanting somebody else to conform to our ideas because we're uncomfortable. Again, if we were on the east side of the world, things would be completely different as far as how we look at society. I just want you to know that you are loved. I want you to walk in peace. And outside of doing research on Valentine's Day and what really came with it, it's time that we start creating our own definitions that truly embody us, that truly embody you, that you love and appreciate just as much as you love and appreciate yourself.